Anytime I see astronomy in a movie or a video game, I always wonder to myself, like, is this accurate? And uh, how much care did the makers of this movie put into it? So I've been playing this game lately. It's called Hogwarts Legacy, and it's based in the Harry Potter world. And there's some serious astronomy in this game. So I wanted to show it to you. And more than that, I've actually been blown away by the accuracy of the astronomy in this game. So let's take a quick look at just some of the astronomy. So this is my character. You can see the resemblance. I try to make him look exactly like me. I think it's, it's uncanny. Nonetheless, he is enrolled in an astronomy class. And um, so I just wanna show you first, one of the first encounters with uh, the astronomy professor in his class. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial. So pretty spicy. So there's accuracy number one is a spicy astronomy professor um, criticizing student. So uh, we'll chalk that up as the first accuracy. Second thing I want to highlight is, is the student's about to use a telescope. How many video games do you play where using a telescope is one of the main, uh, not main, but is definitely a side quest in the game. But uh, nonetheless, it's pretty sweet. You look through the telescope, watch out for the glitches and you actually have to focus the telescope on stars, which I thought was kind of cool. So you adjust the focus to teach you how to use a telescope, which is cool. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Snap. Okay, so we got number, we got three things now. Okay, one, spicy astronomy professor. Number two, using a telescope in the game where you're adjusting the focus. Number three is the students are super cold, which is definitely a part of studying astronomy, being cold out in the observatory at night. <clears throat> All right, so number four, check this out. Uh, I asked the professor about divination class, right? Um, and why why uh, this the astronomy professor was kind of saying bad things about divination. If you know anything about Harry Potter, you know, divination is like how to read tea leaves and how to read astrology tables and predict the future, read tarot cards, things like that. So check out what the astronomy professor has to say about divination. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Wow. So there you go. Uh, astronomy professor getting annoyed with students making the, you know, um, confusing astronomy and astrology. So there's, I think, the fourth uh, thing that is super accurate. Um, but now we're going to get to the really cool stuff, which is constellations. So typically in a movie or a game they'll show the night sky with stars and there's just no attempt made at actually showing realistic constellations but in hogwarts legacy one of this kind of recurring side quests is you can find astronomy tables and i just want to show this to you a second um what these astronomy tables look like all right they're pretty sweet and when you find them, they have around them actually all these symbols and signs. And those symbols and signs all the way around the perimeter of this astronomy table are actually the real symbols of the zodiac, uh, which is cool. So those, um, like you can see Aquarius over there. This is Pi uh, no Aries, the ram. Um, so those are the actual symbols, which I thought is kind of cool. Um, and then what you do when you find one of these astronomy tables is you actually put your telescope into the uh, the table, and and the then it shows you a view. Near the center of your view. Okay, now this is the first time I'm doing it, so another student is helping me. So it's showing me a view of the sky, right? And it's showing me, um, you see in blue, like a constellation that I'm trying to find. And I have to zoom in and rotate my telescope to actually match up with these stars. So this immediately makes me wonder, like, well, is this a real constellation, or are they just making up something for the video game. So let's check it out. So I zoom in, kind of like center the telescope, right? It's super cool that you can do all this in, in this game, like but they're actually putting some astronomy as in there. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. 
Lyra. Whoa, so I saw this was the first one I did. And I'm like, Lyra, dude, that's a real constellation. So what I want to do with you it, it, just a second is, is let's just take a quick peek and say, is this the actual outline of Lyra? So um, I'm going to open up Stellarium here. And uh, in Lyra, the constellation, now I could just search on it here in um, Stellarium. But I'm going to search on Vega, which is a bright star in Lyra. In fact, it's the bright star in Lyra. And inside Stellarium, I can turn on the constellation lines. And you can see there is, in fact, Lyra. And we can compare that to the shape of it here in the game. This kind of like elongated diamond with these three stars at the top. And in fact, there it is. That is the actual shape of the constellation. We have a game that did it right. Hogwarts Legacy for the win, right? And this is, in fact, I can turn on the artwork as well. Lyra the Liar, right? Like a harp. Well, this is awesome. I'm like, holy cow, uh, this is the real deal. Now there's astronomy tables all throughout the game. So I'm gonna go look for some more and see if all of them are, you know, or a bunch of them are realistic constellations. Star chart. So I went out and I went looking for more. I found another astronomy table, zoomed in. Now I did not recognize this constellation, right? But nonetheless, we'll spin it around, get it zoomed in and focused and uh, see exactly what it is. And then we can go look in Solarium and see if this is if this is accurate. <clears throat> All right, Capricorn. This is another one of the, the constellations in the Zodiac. All right, so let's just zoom back just a, a touch and look at the shape of it and we'll go search for Capricorn. Okay, it's kind of like this weird weirdo triangle, Capricorn. All right, I can find the constellation. It's like this seahorse. All right, I'm gonna turn off the artwork and I'm also gonna just like focus on it. There we go. Right, so it's kind of like this. Whoa, this looks different, doesn't it, in, in Stellarium? You know, I think it, we got the same. So I got, this is what you, this is like what real astronomers do, certainly amateur astronomers, when you're trying to point out and locate st stars in the sky with your telescope, you kind of play connect the dots with the stars here. So I see these four in a row, this little cluster on the side. Let's see if we can find find those oh boy it's kind of I'm not really seeing the exact same shape there's a bright star there you can look for the bright star up here I don't know I don't know I'm not seeing it exactly but I can believe that it has the general same shape let's just keep looking at the next one nonetheless it's a real constellation the next one is what really threw me for a loop Oh no, not this one, the one after this. All right, what we got here, Corvus. Now I, you know, I don't know my constellations that well, but let's look up Corvus. This one will be easier to identify. It's like a rectangle with a little, a little box on it. Let's check it out, Corvus. Or is it Corvus with a U? There it is. You can turn off the artwork and uh, you can see it has the same shape. We've got this rectangle with a little, a little poker sticking out and Corvus the Eagle or whatever it is, the crow. I'm not really sure. All right, one more I wanna look at with you guys. <clears throat> one more, but so far we're batting, we're batting 100 for um, Professor Shaw mentioned. constellations that are real constellations here in the game. This is another one I totally do not recognize. Remember, we've said that constellations aren't something astronomers really use on a regular basis. Horologium. Horologium, the clock. I, have you ever heard of this constellation? I've never never heard of this until playing Harry Potter. Nonetheless, if I go... So, so now I'm like, okay, now they're just making stuff up. Nope, I go into Stellarium. Horologium. There it is, the clock. But, but, I just got to highlight one one last thing. So, so you know all these accuracies of astronomy in Hogwarts Legacy. But I, I wanna actually focus on this because I think Hogwarts Legacy got something better than Stellarium, did, some, did astronomy better than Stellarium. In particular here, if we look at the shape of the constellation in uh, Stellarium, you see it's just this kind of L, whereas in Hogwarts Legacy, Right, it has this a little bit more sophisticated shape to it with this three stars that make up the curve. And in fact, if I just do a Google search on horologium, 
right? I'll find lots of pictures that look way more like, way more like um, Hogwarts Legacy than that look like Stellarium. And in fact, as I was digging into this a little extra, I saw that these stars over here, Eta Horologi and Iota Horologi, those are actually a part of kind of the shape of the constellation, a part of the curve, that little three star curve. And so um, I'm actually coming away from this with a sense that that Hogwarts Legacy actually has done a better job of displaying and showing these constellations than even Stellarium. So this to me is like a huge, awesome victory, astronomy in a video game. They took the time, they put real constellations in, they got the shape of it, you got to play with a telescope, you got to focus, point, aim. Uh, even the astronomy professor sounds like an actual astronomy professor, which I think is super cool. So uh, anyway, if you get a chance to check out Hogwarts Legacy, it's a pretty amazing game outside of just the astronomy. But nonetheless, um, this was one of the coolest examples I've seen in a long time of astronomy in a game. All right, I'll catch you later.